right, we're fitting tight. I'm not naked under here. It looks that way, but I'm not. What's up guys, welcome back to another video of Cooking with Chef William. Today we're making very simple and easy, low calorie, high protein, vegan ice cream. Let's jump in. Now I know there's hundreds or maybe even thousands of this recipe floating around on the internet, but I try to differentiate my stuff as much as possible. And there's a reason why there's so many high protein ice cream recipes. And that's because it works. Not only is it filling and it's high in protein, but it's low in calories, which is the name of the game. Whether you're trying to get your beach body together for summertime, or you've got a vacation coming up, or you're trying to cut weight for a tournament or a fight, this recipe is gonna have your back. Currently, I'm running my own shred phase for a Mexico trip I have coming up, and I am eating this every night. And that's not only because it helps me hit my calories and my macros, but it keeps me full until I need to go to bed, which helps prevent any late night snacking, which I am guilty of from time to time. But this leaves me feeling so full that I have no interest in food after that. All I wanna do is go to bed, wake up, and do it all over again the next day. The beauty of this is you're not gonna need a lot of tools or utensils. I like to call them tools. Don't hate me, okay? I'm not a kitchen guy. Hey, baby. You can come in here if you need to get something. Okay. And you can float around in the background. I'll just keep filling. You're cute. All you're really gonna need is a Vitamix blender and then the lid and the tamper for the Vitamix. You also need your tablespoon and your half cup. And last but not least, a spoon to eat the whole thing. For your ingredients, this is gonna be really easy. First off, as always, I am using Veg Nutrition protein powder. I love the vanilla ice cream flavor because it goes perfectly for this high protein ice cream dish. Next up, you're gonna grab yourself some guar gum because this is gonna be really great for thickening up the smoothie into an ice cream-like texture. And you can't forget your frozen strawberries. Frozen fruit is gonna be at the heart of most of your ice cream recipes. So these are great because they're low calorie. Beyond that, all you're gonna need is some water and some ice cubes to really complete this thing. But I have one more bonus item because I like to differentiate my recipes from others. So with that, we like to use this zero calorie pistachio latte flavoring made by Skinny Syrups, zero calories with tons of flavor. Now the fun part, putting it all together and check out just how easy this is. First, you'll need to put one cup of water in your blender. One, two. Now we actually have a full cup, but it's in our dog food dish for Bella. You can also just follow the fill lines on the blender because there are markings on the side. Next, you're gonna add in one to two scoops of your protein powder. If you're really trying to cut your calories, only use one scoop. If you can afford both scoops, then go ahead and do both scoops. For today, since I'm on a shred, I'm only using one scoop. Next up, you will be adding in your guar gum. Now, some people say you only need a teaspoon. I don't really believe in that. I like to use a full tablespoon, never any more than that. But the texture I get from one tablespoon is perfection, for me at least. If you feel inclined to try it out and play around with your measurements on the guar gum, by all means, try out different measurements. But for me in this video, we're using one tablespoon. One. And after that, we're adding in one tablespoon of our pistachio latte flavoring. Oh yeah, give me that flavor. Before we start blending, we're adding in one cup of frozen strawberries. Lastly, we're adding in about two cups of ice. Now, if you don't use enough ice or you don't use ice at all, this isn't going to come out very cold, which is the whole point of ice cream. We want this nice and cold. And once you blend this up thoroughly, the ice shards mixed with the guar gum is gonna give this a really nice ice cream-like texture, which is obviously the game plan. All right, final touches. And that's about two cups of ice. Lastly, we're gonna throw our lid on here get this prep for blending, and we're gonna use our tamper to smash this down into the blades as we begin to blend this up. You're gonna see it gets really thick, and you're gonna have to wrestle with it for a few minutes, but it will be worth it, I promise. All right, we're all done and I almost got a shoulder pump out of that. As you can see, it has a very thick and creamy ice cream like texture, almost like thick soft serve ice cream. As you can see, this is a lot of food here. This is one meal. And with these calories and macros, it's easy to see why people who are on a diet will wanna eat this. You're filling up on less calories and still hitting your protein. Now, you know, if you've seen my recipes before, I like to keep it very simple, but I also like to dress my food up a little bit. Because of that, for my toppings, I will be adding in some of this Carrie's sugar-free syrup along with this calorie-free flavor from cinnamon powder. You don't need a whole lot, just enough to cover the top, and a couple dabs will do ya. Ooh. And last, but certainly not least, the taste test. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, so good. 
<laughs> this is hard to believe this is diet food. Now, I probably will get full by the time I get near the bottom. I'm not gonna force feed myself and eat the whole thing. What I'll do is I'll save the remainder to be eaten with my breakfast in the morning. Oh my God. And the best part is, this is kind of heavy. You almost get a little bicep pump from it. Just holding this up to feed your face. Yeah, it's good. This is so good. It's 6 p.m. now, and I normally get really hungry around 9 or 10 p.m. So when I'm cutting my calories, the last thing I want to do is go over my calories at the very end of the day. I have all my meals, my calories, and my macros accounted for. So if I fall off the rails, it'll be at nighttime. And I'm telling you, this is going to keep me so full. I'm not going to want to have anything to do with food until tomorrow morning. And that's how I stay on track. So I'm going to go sit down and enjoy this. I hope you guys got something out of today's video. As always, we've got more coming, more fitness, more jujitsu, and more athlete recipe content. Content. So in the meantime, stay tuned. You know how we like to end them. Eat plants, train hard, and feel good. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Stop being a weirdo, dude. What are you doing, thing? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, 100% full. I don't want to have anything until breakfast. And that's the beauty of it. Until next time.